Hey guys, what's up? It is Laura Ventura here, and this is Max the Schnauzer. It is his first groom at Paws and All. Right here is how he came in. Now this is a face view, and then I'm gonna show you a side profile. And as you could see, he was fully grown out. So I am just setting the pattern before I bathe him. I usually don't do this, but his fur was pretty clean, so I just went for it because it's definitely gonna cut down some of the drying time. Now my goal with this video is to show you guys a schnauzer that is in full coat and I just want to walk you guys through how I put him in a schnauzer pattern. Now I am using a 10 on his body and on his ears. I decided to do his sanitary trim because there was just so much hair everywhere. So I switched my blade to a 15 from a 10 and I'm also gonna do his armpits. Now I'm using the Wall Bavera with a five in one blade and I will link that below. All right guys, bath time. I purchased the Ultra Wash Shampoo by Best Shot. Now I purchased the shampoo that you could use on dogs and cats. I wanted to try this out because I saw some raving reviews on the grooming Facebook forums about this shampoo, but honestly, I don't know. I'm really used to the consistency of the Omela by Double K. I didn't dislike the shampoo. I just feel like I had to use a lot for it to lather up. Now on the face as always, I'm using the South Barks Blueberry Facial Shampoo. Now I am gonna take my Foxy Roxy brush and I'm gonna just brush his little face out and also his body. This brush is really great because it has really soft bristles. Before drying him, I'm going to spray him down with a diluted quadruples leave-in conditioner. Before drying a dog, you should always brush out their fur or their hair in the direction where you want it to dry. So it could dry straight and it could dry nice and neat. If not, it's just gonna dry all over the place and you could definitely tell when a dog has not been brushed out before the drying. All right guys, Max is fully dried and now we are going to continue the process of setting the pattern and finishing up his haircut. So let's get to it. Now I'm gonna continue setting his pattern with a 10 blade and when I set the pattern on a schnauzer, what I'm really concentrated on is blending that skirt and making sure that that pattern and that skirt is going as low as it could go and it blends to the 10 blade that I'm doing on his body. This was definitely the hardest breed for me to groom when I first started off as a groomer because I just couldn't understand how to blend that skirt to the body. But the best way I could describe it and the way that I understood it is that you have to skim the top of the skirt a little bit with your 10 blade so it could all blend together. And I'm kind of I'm doing this right now to the side of the leg. Now, I also go in with my thinning shears later on and blend this part even more. The back leg of the schnauzer should be fully exposed and that line that I created on the leg is not straight. It's going to go at an angle. Also, in between the legs should be really, really shaved nice and neat. The tail of the schnauzer is also shaved and I'm using the same blade, which is a 10 blade, that I used on the body to do this. Alright guys, let's do this to the other side of his body. Now, same concept, we're taking that skirt all the way down and we're making sure that the blending is on point. I don't like to blend with my scissors. I'll probably go over it with some thinning shears, but to be honest, your 10 blade should be doing most of the work when it comes to blending. Just make sure you skim over that skirt so it looks like it is flawlessly flowing from the body to the skirt. Now 
notice how their chest does go up a bit higher. It doesn't go leveled out to the skirt like a cocker chest does, but I'm still blending it. And this is a good angle and view so you guys could see how I just skim that down. So again, it could blend and it could look flawless. All right guys, let's finish his face. I'm taking a 10 blade and I'm shaving everything except his eyebrows. I'm also gonna shave the inside of his ears. You just wanna make sure this looks super neat and sharp. When creating a schnauzer beard, you wanna take your 10 blade and take the blade and shave all the way from the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth and you are going to create a beard. Do not be scared of going all the way because what's going to happen if you don't, you're going to have a lot of blending to do. So the further you go up, again, the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth and you will create a beard. A beard on a schnauzer should not be straight down. It has to be angled at the bottom. I'm going to show you guys how I do this. But first, let's do some scissor work. I'm gonna start with his paws like I always do. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and trim up his skirt, his legs, his front legs, just to make all those hairs look nice and even. So when I scissor schnauzer hair, because it's straight, what I do is that I comb it outwards and then I go ahead and shape. So I'm gonna do this right now so you guys could see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take my comb, I'm gonna comb it out, and then I will shape that evenly. Ooh, this is my favorite part, and that is scissoring around the ear. Now you have to really be careful, but there should not be any little hairs left around the ears, so I trim it all the way down to the leather. Now with schnauzers that have ears that stand up and are exposed, the ear hair in the side of the ear canal is plucked, but because he had floppy ears and it was his first time at Paws and All, I didn't pluck all the way. I plucked some of the ear hair because it was full of hair in there, but most of it was scissored with these shears. You could also take a 40 blade and gently go ahead and just shave around that ear canal. Now, it's not gonna get to the root of the hair, but at least it'll get rid of most of it. Now, when I hold his beard, I don't just hold like two or three hairs because that might really hurt. I take a palmful and I gently hold it. Like he could move his head, but I am using sharp objects around his face. So I don't want him to just suddenly move. You want to have some type of control when you are grooming a dog's head. All right, I'm gonna take my small thinning shears and here I am going to separate the eyebrows. Now the eyebrows on a schnauzer is probably my favorite part to shape, especially when they're pretty long like this. And I'm also going to take those same thinning shears and thin out those hairs in between the eyes. Ironically, they stay very still when I thinning shear in between their eyes. And when I say they, it's most dogs because I feel like they figure like, okay, she's taking the hair in front of my eyes away. I'm gonna be able to see. And it kind of tickles them in the corner of their eyes. So it's kind of relaxing. They just really sit still for me. It's also one of my favorite things to do, especially when the dog is fully grown out like that because I can finally see their eyes. All right, the first thing I do before I shape eyebrows is that I comb them to the front. 
Now I'm going to take my straights. I don't do this with thinning shears. You can if you want, and I do not do this with curves. It's just easier with straights. And notice how I'm positioning myself. If you position yourself this way and you angle your scissors in a certain way, which I'll show you on the other eyebrow, you will always have really nice schnauzy eyebrows. So look how I do it on the other one and hopefully you guys will get the point. Just like in us humans, no eyebrows are completely the same. Now, some schnauzers have like a curl in one of the eyebrows or like a cowlick in another eyebrow. So you just kind of have to manipulate just like the little hairs that you take off and you know, just try to make them as identical as possible. Okay guys, so see, see how I'm angling my scissor and I'm just going and I'm going now. The corner of the eye has to be the tightest because they're going to see from the sides of their eyes. Now, he could definitely see straight, but the corner of his eye and his side profile has to be really, really short. So remember when I said that the beard has to be at an angle, this is how I do it. So I just take my 10 blade and I skim it. You see that angle that I'm creating? The Schnauzer beard is not straight down. It does have an angle to it. So I just really do this with my blade and then you could go over it with your thinning shears. Here's a quick shot of his face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and thinning shear his entire body now. Some people ask me why don't I just use my thinning shears in the beginning. It's because I'd rather use my regular shears because they are faster in just knocking out all the hair that I don't need. I'm also gonna use these chunkers to go ahead and blend the back legs and anything else that I see just out of place. Guys, look at the transformation in Max. He is looking like a new schnauzer boy. Here's a nice side profile on how his body turned out and I'm just putting in some final little touches. But guys, he's pretty much all done and here he is sitting down. He is a brand new dog. I gave him a blue striped tie. I can't wait to show him off to his mom. He was very well behaved for it being his first time and I'm really happy on how he turned out. I hope you guys learned something new. I enjoy showing you guys what I know and sharing these videos with you. If you liked what you saw, please like, please hit subscribe. Bye guys, love you guys.